Hello everybody, my name is Lisa Sekaja and I am the co-founder of Phenomenal Women Global. This is an organization that was a passion of mine and founded because of the need to empower women into leadership positions and the need to ensure gender equality in line with SDG 5 of the Sustainable Development Goals. And to me, why this organization was important because as I grew in my career and in my life, I realized it, was, it got harder for women to rise up into leadership positions, especially as women living abroad in the diaspora. And as a black woman, you face all kinds of obstacles based on your race, first of all, and then your gender. So in terms of career advancement, it has been quite, quite an upward journey. And, it's, and I think a lot of women share this experience that live in the diaspora and even in Africa. Going through this challenging experience, I decided to create a space, a safe space, where women could discuss the challenges they felt in their careers, the challenges they felt in moving up uh, in their job, in the job market, and see how, as women, we could empower each other and draw on each other's strengths in order for us to lead better lives and be fulfilled in our careers and our personal lives. This led to the first Phenomenal Women Conference in Geneva in 2018. This was a launch that drew 150 women, mainly women of African descent, knowing that we face similar challenges. Human Rights Centre Uganda, together with Phenomenal Women Global and Defend Defenders, has been organising conferences for women human rights defenders, both in the country and outside the country. This has been running for the last three years. After the 2018 conference in Geneva, we successfully organized a 2018 conference in Uganda with the Human Rights Center. And this led to a domino effect where um, more conferences were being held in different countries. The conference we are going to have this year is the third one, which theme is Women Raising Above COVID, Paving the Way Ahead. The advantage of these conferences is that it br they bring together women of different professions, different uh, in, from different countries, and they empower each other on the different aspects of their work. So the topics are coming out to empower different women from the country and outside the country. Quite a number of women have benefited from these conferences by sharing their experiences. For this year, we shall have women speaking about the theme, then we shall have women speaking about mental health, then there will be others speaking about financial literacy, and then women in politics. I'm Stella Mary Namkove. I'm an advocate working with Wanti and Company Advocates. I also work with a Duty Council Project with the Uganda Law Society. My name is Farida Chomhanji. I work with the Human Rights Center Uganda as the head of programs. I'm a lawyer, and most importantly, I'm a human rights defender. Uh, my name is Lanyara Peggy. I work in NOIA, uh, in an organization called Rural Education Network. It's based in Lee Sub County, NOIA District. My name is Diana Bagarukayo. I'm an economist. I work for an international development bank. I'm also a mother of five children. I'm Dr. Zahara Nampeo. I'm a lawyer and I'm a law teacher. I teach at the School of Law at McKay University. And I'm also director for the Human Rights and Peace Center, which is a, a part of the School of Law at McKay University. I, I am uh, an HRD focal person for the Bay under the Human Rights Center. Uganda. But I work for Captura Civil Society Organizations Alliance as a finance manager. My name is Charity Kesime. I am a financial markets professional and a mother of one lovely daughter 
and a focal point for phenomenal women in Uganda. Yeah, my name is Kavageja Ali. I work with Kavale Research and Sports Center. Uh, it's situated in a uh, total tourism city in the Renzo region. Um, I attended the Phenomenal Women's Conference in 2019. It was around November or December in between that period. I had the opportunity to attend both conferences in 2018 and 2019 and also had the opportunity to conceptualize the conferences and also benefit during the actual conference. The first conference I attended was in 2018. I've attended the Phenomenal Women Conference in 2018 and 2019 um, in Uganda, Geneva and Boston. Yes, I attended the, the Women's Marriage Defenders Conference on 12th of December 2019 at Gulf Coast View Hotel in Kampala. Um, the years that I attended the uh, Phenomenal Women Conference was uh, 2018, which was the first one, and uh, 2019, which was last year. I've attended 2019. I've also attended 2018. I have been able to attend the Phenomenal Women's Conference from the onset. That's both 2018 and 2019. For me, what stood out for me, um, one of the speakers, she's called, she's an advocate, she's called Namoli, and she was talking about discovering yourself and not sitting back. The most significant take home for me from the first conference was the topic of work-life balance. My most uh, significant take home message uh, from that conference was from a number of topics that we discussed and uh, one of them was on, on women and health uh, but specifically on the table sessions that we had uh, more special on women, beauty, uh, wellness and, and fashion. So during these conferences we've had so many women come to speak to us about different things um, in the area of business, finance, legal and for me, my most significant take home has been, first of all, you need to do something you're passionate about. Um, secondly, we need to be women who support other women, who encourage um, and who empower other women. It freed me. Um, I felt like I had been given new energy from attending this conference. As a lawyer, as a law teacher, I attend many meetings, I attend many conferences, but Phenomenal Women was, was different for me. Um, the first one was um, self-motivation, passion to do things, to act fast um, upon anything or what you're up to, and be confident in yourself and stand up for your right as a woman and support other women. 2019, the theme for that conference was stepping into your purpose. I personally believe that for that year, it allowed me to refocus my life on who I was as a phenomenal woman and as charity, what my plans were in life and how I could impact the next generation. Now, the, the, the most significant one was when we had, um, in 2019, 2018 when we had, uh, it was about uh, you yourself as a phenomenal woman. Do you give yourself time to reflect, to, to review on your life, your achievement? Do you create time for yourself to think through those areas? Uh, I'm working with the duty council scheme and it, if it's, what, what I do actually, I go to police I've been usually going to CPS Kampala. You talk to the inmates, usually telling them about your what their rights, how, what they should do, seeing those who need pro bono, and that's in a way like it pushes you. It's not something you really want to do all the time, but it just pushes you. You want to help these people because it's it's more of, it's not like a full time job. You you apply you, each month. You have to tell them when you're available. So you also learn to create your own time to do that. Uh, the, the knowledge utilization, I have uh, used this in a number of ways. Just help myself as an individual, the organization where I work, and the community where I live. Especially on uh, the individual part has really helped me, especially to reflect on the way I use my money as a woman. First of all, there are some components in my life that took a really, really different shift. Of course, a positive shift because I had learned so much and I had heard from people who had almost experienced the same things. 
and uh, from work-life balance. And I had to make sure that I balance, create delivery time for my family. I have three children and they can test five. Of course, they are a bit young, but I now create more time for them. From that uh, conference, I picked that seriously and I'm like, no, I need to also have a reflection on myself. So since then, I also have time to, to do things for myself. So these conferences have covered a wide number of areas. And for me, I have used all the knowledge that I have gained. Um, first of all, in the area of health, to learn how to be healthy, to take care of your health. Um, then in the area of legal, to learn how to do a will, um, register your property. And then in the area of business, where we've had mentors come to speak to us, um, I've also learned that, you know, you can start a business with whatever you have, whatever your skills or gifts are. So for me, I've learned a lot and I've been able to utilize that in each aspect of my life. I have utilized the knowledge and ideas that I have gained over the years from these conferences to be able to mentor girls also, to bring up a new generation that is able to impact also another generation. I have been invited to other forums, especially mentorship classes, and that have been able to pick out a few girls to, you know, bring up into another, onto another level of their lives. Um, the way that I have utilized the knowledge and uh, the friendships and the networks from the conference is to, first of all, be true to myself, to know that I'm a human being, um, to know that uh, I should aspire for more, but it is okay if I'm not able to achieve it all. So it has, um, you know, it has assisted me to be true, to, to understand my limitations, but it has also assisted me to reach out to new friendships and uh, new uh, relationships. Um, I think Phenomenal Women gave me the, uh, the opportunity to, to meet other inspirational women, women who have made it in business, women who have made it in, um, you know, in finance. Um, like I said, uh, I, I, I work in a school and in that school I have like women uh, who come for these small, small circles, savings. So that is the moment I used to talk to them, to give them advice to stand up for their rights as women because they may, and let me say they were some, some actually, are going through some, you know, let me say domestic violence, something like that. So that is the moment I utilize my knowledge. Um, for the significant changes in my life, um, learned to be a better person. I've upgraded myself in different ways. I've learned, learned other things. I've learned to do things differently. Um, I've learned to be more courageous. The conferences I attended had very many significant changes in my life, both in my personal life as a woman, but also in my professional life as a human rights defender, as someone working at the Human Rights Center Uganda. And with regard to my work, uh, I got the validation that sometimes you may do so much and uh, not seeing results immediately, but you have to keep working hard and keep uh, working on those goals because you are creating change and impact. I've now gained confidence in myself and I, I am so proud about it. I'm, I'm proud about myself actually. I had a piece of land and uh, I had not really taken up uh, that, uh, that step of starting at least construction on it. But through the training, um, I've realized that the money we get sometimes is much. I, I saved, I started saving, they opened up a fixed account, I saved, they saved, they saved. And uh, at this point of the moment, I, I have started um, uh, roofing my house. To me, I see this is a very significant change story in my life. As a result of the knowledge gained in these conferences, um, I've been able to do a couple of things. First of all, I've started a mentoring program under the Phenomenal Women Global, where we mentor young people in order to empower them as well. Um, there's a saying that 
if you're in an elevator and you reach the top, you need to be able to send the elevator back down and support other women. So as a result of this conference, we've started a mentoring program. In addition, we realized, um, a, you know, a couple of us realized that there are many bright girls out there um, who need to be supported. But because of finances, they're unable to continue with their education. So as a result of these conferences, we've also started um, a scholarship program for young girls. What I think um, Phenomenal Women has done for me is to propel me to make me take that leap of faith that I actually can start a business. I have been able to break many more barriers. It was, I felt like, I, f I actually feel like there's much more than I am, than I am even doing now. Except for 2019 when I realized that, you know, I was settling for less. Right now, it feels like there's so many barriers that need to be broken as a phenomenal woman to be able to bring up other women that will be able to lead our country in different spaces, be it politics or otherwise. Uh, one of the take-homes in that conference also was that you need to, to support other women to also come up, to, to stand their ground, to also be able to overcome the challenges they have in whatever way you can. Uh, laws have to come up to protect these human rights defenders. Probably it could be tabled in parliament or someone should stand up because sometimes those laws that protect them need to be in place. Then also they, they would need extra support. Uh, support could be in several forms. It could be financial, it could be through security, it could be through any other way so that these people keep going. I, I thought that what is taking place is already good enough but I would think that uh, there are some actions which we come up with, but we don't uh, take them forward. One of them was that uh, in 2018, we came up with an idea that we would start a small, a small fund where we all make a contribution and see how to support um, certain groups of women. But I think we did not take it further. But I thought it was something which we really needed to have it take off. Yes, but we know the challenges are that most of the people who came up with that idea come from far. They don't work in Uganda, but they can delegate so that uh, we have it functional. One key recommendation I have for women generally, women human rights defenders and professionals is to ensure that when there are such platforms, they participate. Some women think they are above such platforms or they think they have it all in control, but that's not true. And such platforms will show you that actually you needed that platform more than ever before and you need to continuously participate in such a platform. Me, I believe if we can strengthen the referral pathways of these complicated cases, in case you get stranded with a case, Especially, we have seen women being denied inheritance, succession of their property issues, these grievous harm, the, the rape and different issues of young girls. So, if we, we strengthen our further our, our further pathways as the women human rights defenders, and also creation of hotlines or so free lines where these cases can be referred or the numbers that can be given to. So women uh, who are in need of uh, these services, I see we will take our work as women human rights defenders. There's still a lot that needs to be done to improve the working environment for women, um, particularly in the political sphere, because if you look at the politics now in Uganda, you'll find that there are not many women who are standing on um, a general ticket for member of parliament. Most of the women who are standing are standing on the women ticket. So I don't know what that says about um, women empowerment. So I think there's still a lot we need to do in building the confidence of women, um, in particularly to stand for political positions of leadership. I think as we wait for each phenomenal women conference, we need some kind of year long support, in between support that can keep women going, that people can go to that, that women's space that can keep women going as we await the next Phenomenal Women Conference. I believe there should be greater support given to women in leadership, especially from men. 
our men are like our anchors also. When you have support from any of the male species next to you, be it a brother or a father or your husband, it feels like you are being pushed for more, pushed higher and knowing that there is greater support then it enables you, enables any other woman to perform better and to deliver better. Phenomenal Women Global is partnering with the Human Rights Center and Defend Defenders to organize this annual conference in Uganda. We also organize conferences all over the world um, in all our different locations, in Boston, in Geneva, in Zimbabwe, um, in the United Kingdom. So I would really want to urge all the women um, who are listening here to try and listen or log in, register to attend these conferences. These conferences bring women leaders in all the different spheres of life. So it will help you, empower you, um, give you knowledge. But even beyond the conferences, um, the conferences are not enough. Even beyond the conferences, I want to encourage everybody who is listening, please ensure that you mentor at least five people. Ensure that you yourself receive mentoring um, so that you're a strong and empowered woman. You can join us, join the Phenomenal Women um, Network. Just go to our Facebook page, um, our website, Phenomenal Women Global, and become a member so that you join us in the effort to empower and encourage women. We are phenomenal women. We are phenomenal people. This is who we are.